And Mike is standing by with Palace Jalice, who has really become a force on the Lafayette men's basketball team. Here's Mike. Well, you said it, Gary. Here we are. We're uh, fortunate to have Paul Jalice, senior captain of the men's basketball team. Great to have you here for the halftime show. Thanks for having me, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, well, let's talk about your stretch just in the last couple games. I mean, 14.7 rebounds. You're averaging, obviously, you're a senior. Looks to me like you're being very aggressive. Is that kind of your mindset? Because this is some of the best basketball of the stretch of your career here on the Hill. Yeah, I think I'm just trusting my work that I put in over summer, trusting the work that I put in the fall, the workouts, individual workouts, and the work that I did with the team. And then mostly, I think, just my teammates are finding me in the right situations on the floor and giving me the chance to, to, to have good statistics. But it all comes down to the main goal of just winning. So even if I didn't play as good and we were winning, you know, I wouldn't really care. So it's all just a matter of, you know, opportunity, I guess. The true humbleness of a captain trying to push it off. But you are playing great basketball. Is it a matter, Paul, tell me, a little, is it a matter of, of confidence in basketball? We talk so much about, you know, being a shooter. You play inside, you play outside. But it seems to me you're a lot more comfortable in space. So is, is it a matter when you're a basketball player and a, a Division One basketball player, is confidence huge? Oh, yeah, confidence means everything in basketball. You could, you could go from being a role player one year to being one of the better players in the team in the next year. But I think the confidence comes from the amount of work you put in and how dedicated you are, and then obviously the, the how the team chemistry is, which, like, again, I said, I'm very fortunate to have the teammates that, that I have, and they find me in good situations for me to do damage, and then hopefully I do the same for them to find them in their play through their strengths and not weaknesses and you have a lot of those guys now listen you came on campus here in 2015 can you think that far back i mean it's an amazing stretch that you've had obviously coming from lithuania playing on their national team as well what's that transition like obviously you're in lithuania now you're you're in in america for a, a long period of time tell me a little bit and everybody out there about what that transition's like and and how much you've enjoyed being here at lafayette Oh, yeah, it's been, it's been a while. Like you said, I can't even remember, like, going back that far. 2015. But it's crazy. But, um, no, the Lafayette community made it very easy for me to make the uh, the jump socially, culturally, academically, athletically. I've obviously had my ups and downs academically, a athletically, but the, the, I've always had people at the athletic department or over there on, on campus that helped me, you know, develop as a person, as an athlete, and as, an, as a student. So I haven't really even thought about it because you just have so much help. But when you put it that way, it's like, wow, I really have came a long way. But, yeah, the Lafayette community has made it so easy for me to make the, the jump. Like, I feel like there wasn't even any jump. It's just kind of natural, organic transition. So, yeah, I'm very fortunate to have a second. You are lucky. Yeah. Yeah, that's terrific. Now, tell me, what are some of your plans afterwards? you got about 18 ball games left, and I know you have 870 points, 130 points until you reach that 1,000-point mark. You, you look like you didn't even know that, but uh, that's probably going to be eight or nine points a game. I'm just reminding you, I want to hit that. You'll be the 45th player ever to hit 1,000 points here. Huge accomplishment. Is that something, obviously, that's never crossed your mind? No, not really. I mean, with every season, the main goal and the only goal is to win, to protect home court, steal a few, go few, few games away, and then, you know, try to win the championship. So that's always the main goal. Um, that's obviously a nice accolade to show your work paid off, but you don't really care about that. And then... After graduation, I want to follow the footsteps of alums like Seth Heinrichs, Dan Trist, Mac Linuski, and play professionally for at least a few years, especially in the short term, and then long term probably come back here, do more education, and kind of settle down here in the States. I love to hear that because you know what? You, you can't stop here. you got to continue to go. And there are so many opportunities overseas right now, and you might end up playing with or against some of those guys that you just mentioned. Exactly. That would be, that'd be amazing to see fellow Leopards back there, over there, and overseas play against them. And, and, catch up but yeah i'm just trying to follow their footsteps and see what happens you're going to take with you a lafayette education and economics obviously and you're going to take with you a lot of memories what's the key let's get back to basketball quickly what's the key stretch here with with some of these guys guys like petrie guys like jaworski yourself obviously the guys inside we got to make a run here yeah we have to make a run we just got to trust our offense trust our system i feel like our record doesn't really show how good we are because we lost a number of close games and overtime games we just got to learn how to um how to uh close the games out and and, and it'll get tired of moral victories and get a few dubs going in and you just got to trust ourselves keep working and it'll be fine we have a lot of talent like you said and the young guys so we just gotta trust our system trust our coaching staff and it'll all work out i'm sure you, you touched on it and confidence is a key right there thank you so much for a couple minutes one of the best we've ever had on the hill paul is Jalice, captain thanks for a couple minutes thank you so much for having you guys appreciate it there students galore here great job by paul it's back to you guys all right michael thank you i know it's redundant but uh, aren't they great young men and young women that we get a chance to chat with during our halftime interview